heard him talking about those warm Caribbean waters fueling Ian. Now that's something you've been tracking and telling us about for a couple of days now. Yeah, we saw that rapid intensification as it came up towards Cuba and now starting to pull away from Cuba, shaking off the uh, little speed bump, if you will, going over the western tip of Cuba. Uh, still holding in the category three storm winds down about 10 miles an hour was 125 during the overnight hours here at 115 right now and slowing down. And that's what we're going to see that it's going to be a very slow crawl to the north for us here and only about 10 miles an hour. And you can already see some of those outer bands and across South Florida. In fact, we've already seen a couple tornado warnings and uh, have a tornado watch up for that area as well. Here we go. Coming in is a major hurricane category three storm in around the Tampa Bay area. And this is what I've been talking about all week. I think the end game for us is going to be this is going to get back out over the Atlantic waters for us here. Even though the hurricane center is still holding this over land right now up to around Jacksonville, Florida, I, the natural tendency is to get back out over the water and that's going to put it coming further to the north. I think probably somewhere around Charleston Myrtle Beach area. Area, it may enter back in and that's the case then that's going to shift this a little bit further off to the east. That's what I'm seeing right now in some of our forecast modeling. That's also what we need to be cautious for because that brings that cone closer to us and that puts us on this east side over here. That's where we may have that increased threat of tornadoes and water spouts for us here. So this is going to be really Friday into Saturday, taking a look at some of those risks and the impacts for us here. We are going to be looking at that potential of some of those tornadoes across the area here with that again adjusted slightly further east track, in my opinion here. Not so strong of winds. It'll be kind of winding down maybe a, a strong tropical storm at that point. Um, and we are going to be looking at the potential of some heavy soaking rainfall. That's going to lead to some of the potential for flash flooding for us here in eastern North Carolina. Also, out on the waters here, we may be looking at some moderate storm surge, especially on the western part of the sound. Hyde County, Pamlico County, eastern Beaufort County. So we'll keep you updated on that. But that's kind of what it was looking like right now. We're already starting to see some of those high level clouds from that streaming across our area as we speak with those temperatures into the mid 70s. As we go on through the day today, upper 70s to near 80 running at or just slightly below average. Those high level clouds continue to thicken up overnight tonight. Now some of the inland spots we may drop down into the low 50s before we start to see that warmer tropical air. And that's what I'm concerned about, that as the storm progresses northbound, you're going to see this tropical warm front start to pivot back towards us here. And embedded within this here, that's where we may see some of those heavier bands of rain, as well as the potential of heavy downpouring rains coming our way as well. So, of course, we'll keep you alerted to that as we go on through time for us here. But we do have Friday and Saturday as a weather alert day with Ian coming into the neighborhood.